All right, we set out today to make a 12 gauge slam fire zip gun, if you will. And we failed horribly, but we will get it done eventually. Uh, if you don't know what it is, basically you take a piece of three quarter inch black iron gas pipe, uh, clean it up enough to where a 12 gauge shell drops in. We made it that far because when you buy that pipe, it does not fit. It needs cleaned up just a little bit so that it'll fit. And then once it does, you're supposed to get a one inch piece of black iron pipe and it's supposed to slide over it. You have to clean it up a little bit. Where we ran into troubles was down inside of this pipe, there's a seam. Getting that seam out so that this will slide over the other, the three quarter black pipe, in theory should be easy. It says it's one thousandth of an inch difference. That's half the size of a human hair. The problem is, it, that seam makes it probably an eighth inch off. We've tried different methods. We tried some sandpaper on a dowel rod. The seam kind of tore the sandpaper up too much. We tried some stones that fit in there quite nicely. Uh, we broke them. We tried an extension to fit all the way through with a stone. We bent it. Um, so back to the drawing board on this, we have to figure out how to get that seam out. And once you get that seam out, you get yourself a cap, screw it on the end, drill and tap this, put a bolt through that's sharpened, and when you slam it together, it, it fires it. If, if you want to see videos, there's plenty of them out there that show them in action. Um, we were trying to make one. This would be a legal per ATF regulations shotgun. It's 30 inches, so it meets the overall requirement, the barrel length and all that for a shotgun. So it's perfectly legal to do this. It's just a hell of a lot harder than people make it out to be. Uh, so stick with us and we will figure this out and we will show you the slam fire in action. That's it from Redneck Outfitters for now. See you on the next one. Dude, that was so f***ing good.